What is up guys? Jake from One Hive here with the next Hitchhiker video and this one's kind of a fun one for me. Uh, I'm over at Morning Sword and looking through the uh, roster here, you guys that have been around uh, for a while from, from the beginning on the channel might recognize a whole lot of names over here. Uh, this is like a who's who of old school. Uh, you'll see actually some of our current members here too. They came over to do a war with the uh, Morning Sword. Uh, but this is like a who's who of old school uh, One Hive members. They sort of just, you know, got together, formed this clan, uh, doing some wars and having fun and uh, doing some nice, nice attacks and some nice wins. <coughs> Excuse me. They are, uh, they're nine and one. So really doing a good job uh, just for getting started. And uh, just fun to talk to the old guys, you know, because again, I mean, some of these guys were... Uh, were the founders, you know, the, the original guys of, of One Hive. So to get back and hadn't talked to some of them in a while uh, has been fun. And I'm going to stick around over here just to visit with the guys, uh, catch up a little bit. But uh, to the point at hand, uh, showing some sweet attacks and talking about the clan, Morning Sword went up against a very good clan last war, a KP Special Force, 160 win clan. And uh, they, they got the W, so that, that's always awesome. I uh, did a very good job uh, cleaning up the bases. All two stars on the Town Hall 10s. And I think one, two, just a few, yeah, just a couple of Town Hall 9s got by them. So very good war. Uh, let's look at a few of them. First one we're going to look at, uh, King Beef. You guys, I'm surely you old schoolers remember King Beef. He was on many a video. Uh, you know, when you're in a close war like this, it's important to have guys to get the two star, you know, this, especially on an upgraded base like this, you can't risk going for the three star when you're just a few stars away from, uh, you know, winning and losing. So the two star attack here, I know I always beat up on go wipe, but sometimes it's the thing to do, you know, it just is. So, uh, this is exactly what King Beef did. Come down, got the CC lure, going to bring them up top. You see this, I mean, this guy's got 40 level heroes. I mean, this is not a scrub base by any stretch. Uh, so it just brings the CC troops up top. Uh, going to use a let's see, what is, I can't remember what he uses to kill these. Uh, I've watched so many videos tonight, and this is the last of a of many that I'm making. So I'm sorry, I forgot here what he exactly. You just sort of working it back and forth, a little barge there, trying to get that uh, witch exposed, and then right there he had the two two three in the CC. Uh, so they come out, uh, just start got a pretty good clump there. So those uh, splash damage from the wizard should be taking it out pretty quickly. And then he comes in with his golems. Now this right here, when I first watched the attack, I was like, uh oh. No good. Look at that jump spell. But you talk about threading the needle. All three of these golems come down. Uh, the wizards create the funnel. And then right there, they can just, I guess, get inside that jump spell and move right over the wall. So perfect placement. Can't get any better than that. Uh, heroes coming in. Uh, let's see, right here, boom, king goes down, queen coming down, freeze for the inferno tower there, uh, Pekka coming in behind, uh, basically clearing everything out of the way so that those heroes, I'm sorry about that there, those heroes and the Pekka go straight to that core, then drops that rage and the back end freeze, GG, I mean, it's over, you see the percent, the, the town hall just went down, queen still up, got her ability, level 40 queen, uh, Pekka still up. King still up, just doing work in the core still. No question, never a doubt that it was going to be at least a two star. Uh, you know, not really a, a three star attack. Not didn't plan on it, but to get you know what's this about seventy percent, seventy one, seventy golly seventy six. What do you get on this? Seventy seven, seventy nine percent on a nice upgraded base. Very sweet attack, King Beef. Uh, good job, man. Another one that you guys ought to remember, Sir Scaper. Man, we, he was on the videos a bunch too. These guys, these are. This brings me back. I think about the old attacks we that you guys were doing. Uh, you know, and it's just fun. I don't know. Uh, very upgraded Town Hall Nine base. You see, the heroes are almost twenty. The only thing that's not maxed on this is the cannons. Now, why this guy decided to leave his cannons not maxed is beyond me. But um, Scaper's going to come in. Oh, and by the way, look at this guy. <laughs> he's like boycotting this air sweeper. I don't know what he's thinking. Uh, he don't want no part of it. I guess he don't want to spend anything besides on walls, uh, but no air sweeper. So, Scaper takes advantage, brings the long room attack. Uh, just coming in right here with the one golem, going to take out that queen. Uh, good job creating the funnel. CC troops coming out. Boom, lightning goes down for it. Uh, got the jump spell to let everything into the queen and to that air defense right there. 
uh, right here, the last little bit goes down. Uh, the queen's locked onto the air defense, so everything's in good shape here. Uh, then he's just going to start in with a Laluna attack. He's got four Lava Hounds, two on the first air defense, and then he's just going to work that counterclockwise motion on this base and absolutely destroy it. Uh, Raid was probably a little bit far out. Could have been placed a little bit further in the base. And the I'm sorry, guys, I might... Uh, timer on the notification hold just ran out obviously um, could have been a little bit farther on the rage there uh, to get those balloons a little more time in it but besides that absolutely perfect you see we'll start to fast forward here because it is over those balloons that's why we do that clockwise motion those balloons cutting across the middle and getting to that look at all those pups I, think, I guess all of his uh, lava hounds busted pups everywhere just wrecked it absolutely wrecked it awesome attack scaper uh, man good to see you uh, still killing it and keep it up buddy all right, let's look at one more, another OG that you guys are probably going to remember. Uh, 17, Scarecrow. <laughs> Scarecrow used to be our dragon guy. He killed it with dragons. He did dragons when dragons weren't. Like, he just made it work, you know. Uh, so he's still doing some air attacks here. He's going to go come in with a, a Laloon attack as well. Uh, now, this one did decide to build the air sweeper, so he's got that to contend with. Uh, but I, it's not pointed well. I mean, look at that. It's not even pointed at an air defense. I don't know. I don't get that. But okay, um, coming over to the side, bring the CC troops over. Uh, normal kill squad, queen taking them out there. No big deal. A couple witches, uh, and then sends the golem in. Going to try to get in here. I like this uh, this angle he took on this base. A very aggressive angle. You see that the queen's way over there uh, towards the middle and the left side of the base. So really a, a pretty big slice he's biting off here. But absolutely does it perfectly. Very patient on his king. Waits to the funnel is well created. Uh, the the wall breakers did get taken out there, uh, but the king just, those low level walls, the king walks his way right in and perfect placement on the jump spell there. Make sure the king had room to get in there. Uh, and the queen's gonna, she's already sort of semi alerted. As soon as he gets a little further here uh, and that wizard tower goes down right there, boom, king locks on, queen's going down. Here comes the air attack. Uh, a couple of lava hounds on the first air defense, a few, uh, a few balloons there with a perfect rage placement. That was beautiful. You see the queen's over here still doing some work on this side. She's got her ability, so that's nice. Uh, and then just over here on the left side, sending in the rest of the balloons, another rage. Uh, just just wonderful. Watch this queen over here sneak over here and get this air defense. Right there, you got a couple more shots on that wizard tower, and boom, she's locked on. So the kill squad took out two. It just took, oh, it actually did not take it out. I thought it did. The expo locked onto the queen just in time, but she did do a little bit of work on that air defense. So uh, the last few balloons are going to come in, take it out very easily. You see this air sweeper? Yeah, it's, it's defending that area. It's doing a good job. Uh, it's a good place to point it. Uh, the last thing that's left is that expo, and those rage loons are going to run right over, take it out. You see he's got a few pups already for cleanup and a big wad of balloons still for cleanup. I wish that. Uh, last air mine there had targeted the uh, lava hound he would have got a few more pups but no big deal he had the time to finish it off all right guys that is it uh again one of my more the more enjoyable uh you know hitchhiker videos to come visit with these guys if you're wanting to hang out with some old school uh you know og one hive founders members and uh do some wars with them um, you know, and, and you're a three-star guy, uh, I'm sure they're probably constantly looking for people just like all clans are. So check them out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you, Morning Sword, for having me. Until next time, Jake from One Hive reminding you guys to suck less.